Okay, so I've got a uh, different way, I think, of running uh, my VE direct cables from my MPP solar charge controllers to the MPPT control displays. Uh, I bought some ready-made pigtails, uh, the JST PH 2.0. These are about 12 inches long, 300 millimeters. And I had a bunch of these uh, punch down ethernet jacks. Uh, look up online the correct pinouts through uh, various Victron and uh, either the user manual or uh, on the forums. And what I did was I made, I punched both down. I tied that one in a knot so I knew what it went to. Uh, plug an ethernet cable in all the way to the displays, and we'll turn them on. And power it up. The MPPT controllers, and the displays power up. I don't have any panels hooked up yet, but uh, you can see battery voltage. And now when I go to run my wires, I only have to run one, and uh, I can make it the length that I need it. I can just make up an ethernet cable of custom length if I don't have something all ready to go. Um, I think the biggest warning would be make sure you're using a straight ethernet cable, cable and not a crossover because a crossover will flip the power and data lines all together and it might damage this end but that's uh, kind of an unlikely thing. So uh, yeah you can you do need to cross over the Four pair, so black and white, as shown here, are the signal. Uh, when they go from here to here, those two do cross. Uh, power does not. Um, it's kind of do at your own risk, but it will work, as shown here. And I learned also that you do not need the Ethernet jack to power battery cable that these things come with, they get all their power from the outer two wires here and here. Um, I suppose I haven't tested it. You, you might be able to do, if you only do one set of power wires and double them up over here, it gets a little complicated. You might be able to get three displays, but I do not need that. And that seems higher risk. So have fun. Good luck. Um, it's easy.